Um, my name is Erin Payton. I'm 27 years old and I am um, right now I'm traveling the world for uh, 11 months. I was a student of literature. I like to dance and sing and make art. But when I was a kid, I was really, I got involved in uh, martial arts. There was this creep who kidnapped this little girl in the town that I'm from, and he murdered her. And she was my age, and my mom was freaked out. And uh, she knew this guy who was involved in um, martial arts. So she signed me up. All the other little girls were taking ballet. <laughs> I was taking karate. And I was a badass. It worked out really well. I feel like uh, I wouldn't have lasted in ballet. So it was considered um, Kempo, Kempo Kung Fu. I just remember getting my gi, the uniform. It was really stiff because it was brand new. It just pulled out of the plastic, you know. It was, I thought, what the hell is this? This weird uniform and what am I doing, you know? But the first session, I just remember, I really appreciated the um, sort of the instant sort of tradition and expectations. You bowed when you walked in, and then you bowed when you got on the mat, and you bowed to your instructor. And I thought that was really cool. I think I was seven or eight when I started. And I stopped when I was 14 because I was a teenager and I was too cool to go to karate. Today, uh, today I'm going to take a karate class, a kung fu class, kwan kido, yeah. for the first time in 12 years. So that's weird in itself, I think, that I came all the way to Norway and I'm taking a kung fu class. so sore from my uh, kung fu lesson last night, which was, by the way, two and a half hours long, uh, and I thought that it was maybe going to be like an hour. Yeah, it was a fucking long time, and I was exhausted. <laughs> I felt like a big baby. I really wanted to give up. I thought I would be able to like be a super badass and just uh, go back and you know, I'm, I'm an active person, so I thought it wouldn't be that big of a deal. Yeah, I thought I was going to pass out at one point, in a good way. But I didn't give up, I kept going. I have the bruises to show for it. Today was a sore day. I had to take three aspirins when I got up. <laughs> Fucking A, man. It really, really affected me physically today. I've been feeling it. I still feel it in my neck. Everywhere I feel it. <laughs> I am, um, yeah, it was pretty intense. Uh, the training and the forms, that was, it was cool. I really liked the um, warm-ups of the class, just sort of getting physical and warming up. That was nice. I felt like I could handle that, no problem. So when we started working with partners and started doing all the different... There was a thing where I had to cross my arms and get kicked and then <laughs> punched. And see, this is where the bruise is. This is where one of my best bruises is. 